My name is Ensign Brian Haggerty. I'm a deck watch officer and an ensign on board Coast Guard Cutter Healy. Right now we are on the bridge of Healy. Healy is the United States premier high latitude research vessel. Every summer we go up to the Arctic and maintain one of the Coast Guard's missions of ice breaking. Um, one facet that comes from the ice breaking is we aid in a lot of science research. My name is Peter Wooster. I'm from the Scripps Institution of Oceanography in San Diego. We'll be headed up to the Beaufort Sea as soon as we get all of our equipment loaded. We're going to be deploying an array of seven deep water moorings in about 4,000 meters of water. And the goal is to understand how sound travels in the Arctic Ocean now and to use that sound as a tool to measure the changing ocean temperatures in the Arctic. Currently, the U.S. fleet has two icebreakers. One is the Polar Star, which was built in the 1970s. Every winter in the Northern Hemisphere, they head south to break out the McMurdo Station in Antarctica. And then there's us, Coast Guard Cutter Healy, who every summer we head north to the Arctic to conduct icebreaking operations and research. The Arctic is changing at a tremendous rate. The extent of the ice coverage uh, is dramatically reduced from what it was 20 years ago. The amount of multi-year ice, that's ice that's lasted more than one season, is dramatically reduced. Temperatures and salinity in the upper ocean are changing. And it's just a completely different place from what it was back during the Cold War when a lot of studies of acoustic propagation in the Arctic had previously been done. It is really rather terrifying how quickly the Arctic's changing. With the increased vessel traffic that we are now seeing in the Arctic region, it's definitely important to maintain a readiness posture in the event that something may happen. We're ready to respond. When the Arctic becomes ice-free in the summer, uh, it's going to change what, what it can be used for. I mean, even now you have ships going through the Northwest Passage in the summer. You have uh, exploration for oil and gas. Uh, people are starting to think about fishing up there. It's just going to become a completely different place. The use that people can make of the Arctic is going to be much different then than it is now. I think one great comparison would be much akin to going into space or going to the moon is Healy gets the opportunity to explore places on Earth that haven't been explored before. Um, we'll discover new species, map uncharted areas of the Arctic, and we're able to operate in a region of the world that's just amazing. 